don't know if I have any like big commentary. This is just, this is really fun. Um, I mean, I guess one thing that comes to mind um, as I'm just listening to all of this, and I've been thinking about this a lot recently too, is I almost feel like uh, the last few years with Transformers and the next probably several years are really going to teach us that there there is no one way to build an intel a quote unquote general intelligence. Um, there is going to be a pluralism of different mechanisms because I think the point about um, might it be the case that transformers engage in some form of quote unquote simulation is an interesting one. Um, surely it's the case that you can wire up a transformer in a way to simulate this idea. This is OpenAI's sort of Q star algorithm where you can you can ask a transformer to pause and, and reason about its thinking um, and it will actually engage in a chain of thought. Um, you can actually create a tree of thought um, and then have a separate model actually evaluate its outcomes. And in some sense that's simulating uh, simulating um, the notion of thinking or system two type of thinking. So I, I, I it's just an it's a fascinating AI is is challenging our our notion of there being one way to build um, an intelligence, and we might have a pluralism of different intelligences that have different pros and cons. Um, and I think Rich's point that uh, we by no means have to recapitulate all of the aspects of human intelligence in our AI systems is absolutely the case. Um, you know, the 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 question I sort of explained I'm interested in, I don't think I can have a conclusion on in the book is, is there things from the human brain that we can learn? Um, which is a different question, I think, than we need to recapitulate all aspects of the human brain and AI systems. I would like to just uh, reflect on the book and why, why, I, why, why it's so appealing and why, we, why I enjoy it anyway. And I think it's because of its ambition um the the mind is really complex and all the different animals from the jellyfish uh, up through uh chat gpt and everything in between is very very complex and uh, it's awesome ambition to uh divide that development into five breakthroughs and i think we we appreciate that um because it's a basic human activity human the world is complex and what humans do what people do what minds do is they um, develop simplified ways of understanding it. And so we can appreciate, uh, we can enjoy uh, a simple way of talking about a really complicated subject and feel that we have gained something by, by, uh, by having a, a simple way to do it. You know, I think this is, this is a, a superhuman thing to find simple models of complex phenomena. And, and, and that's a major intellectual activity is finding uh, simple models that work pretty well. And uh, that's that that gives us a real sense of insight, even though we know they don't capture every result and every complexity. Yeah. So I, I think that's what I really one of the things I like most about this book. I feel feel about it the same way the book that I wrote. I wrote a book that I thought was the book that I wanted to read uh, when when I was in college. And this is very much the kind of book that I'd like to read because it has these big ideas and it, it challenges itself. It, it challenges us all to think uh, about it in a, in a simplified, organized way and, uh, and to see beyond the, the superficial things and the, and the normal structures uh, in the different disciplines. Yeah, this, it, it, is, it is entirely um, a view that takes the disciplines as almost unimport, un, un, unimportant. You just sort of well, let things happen. Life evolved, and life evolved with facing things, and then the challenges over occurred at each stage. And you know whether you cross into anthropology or biology or or the cell or genes, it's it's almost irrelevant. And, yeah, and, and that's awesome too, and incredibly ambitious. And uh, wow. Thank you so much for for doing that, Max. And you know, you've come up with the, the way of thinking about it all. That's 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 a unique and a, a real contribution and special. It doesn't mean someone else can't come up with an alternate uh, view. Um, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the last word. But I think we need more words like this. And so, my hats go off to you and what you've tried, what you've done. Thank you. Mm. Very grateful. <laughs>